JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon got a ton of reaction from his comments saying that Bitcoin, which is up 300% so far this year, he said Bitcoin is a fraud. Help us out here. Do you agree with that? So what I agree with is that the minute you see something that looks like the Bitcoin price graph, mm. you should start asking lots of questions. Mm. And the most important question is what is being assumed at these levels? And what's being assumed at these levels is major adoption mm. of bit Bitcoin by many institutions, by many individuals. Mm. Okay. I think that's an over reaction. I don't think bitcoins will get adopted simply because central banks are going to be very uncomfortable. Now it doesn't mean that the bitcoins disappear. They don't. They play a very important function, mm. but it's not the function that's priced in right now in the marketplace. So, I mean, have clients called you up and say, "Hey, what do I do with this bitcoin thing? I mean, it's on fire. Do I buy bitcoin or do I go to, you know, traditional currencies or gold? What's the what's the answer? The Is there an answer?" The taxi driver asks that question. The taxi <laughs> driver asks because you've had such massive movements and people have made so much money. Yes, so you do get questions, but you get questions from people who typically tend to come in late. Mm. And and that's where the therein lies the problem. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, so I think if you're looking at Bitcoin, wait, be a little bit more, more sort of strategic about your timing, right? It doesn't mean it's going to disappear tomorrow. It's mm. not. But given the price action, it, should be, it, doesn't, it could go higher, but it's more probable, more probable that it will go a lot lower than a lot higher at this stage. All right. It's certainly something we'll be watching. Mohamed El Arian, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Scott. All right. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.